Kayla, what do we do? Tell me, step by step. Yep. Yep. Yes. All right, I want to stop us here. Let's just say you're struggling with coming up with the numbers of negative 60 or just 60 in general. Come up with all of the factors. 60 times 1. 30 times 2. 3 times what? 4 times. 6 times. 5 times. So notice this is the strategy. You get to visualize the numbers, right? And I put the bigger number on the left-hand side so that you can kind of subtract going across. Does that make sense? And then you recognize that it's 15 and 4. 15 times negative 4 is negative 60. 15 plus negative 4 is 11. Good job, Kayla. All right, fill out this box for us, Sophie. Um, what goes here? Um, yep. What goes in these two boxes? Let, let's color code this. These two will always go in those two boxes. This yellow box will always be the first term. Because think about it. The B term is being split here. And then the last one is the C value. And basically what you're doing in the box is factoring by grouping. It actually makes it three terms to four terms, but that makes it factorable. Okay, Sophie. So what are you going to put in here in my green now? 15. And we're going to add an X here. Correct. And then negative 10. All right, Sophie, here's the question. To get a 6x squared, I'm going to have to multiply 2 and the 3. The question is, where do I put the 2? Should I put it here on top or to the left? Sophie, what would I put up here? Correct. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. Sophie, what goes up here? She got the negative 2 by taking out the common factor, or you can think of 2x times something equals negative 4x. Sophie, 3x times something equals 15x. 5. Five. And they all multiply, right? Catherine, what do I put in my parentheses? Partner A, tell partner B, how do you check your answer? <coughs> Aiden, how do you check your answer? How do I know this is right? Yeah. Distribute or multiply or foil. Does that make sense? You undo what you just did. So this is multiplication. I'd put that on the outside of the box. Multiply, then combine like terms, and you get the original problem. 
or maybe what we learned a couple weeks is I'm going from factored form to standard form. Or to go from standard form to factored form, I have to factor. 